definitely not enough relays. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. If you want to get something turned on and off, you're probably going to use Relay for that purpose. Now, this board uh, in particular has 16 relays and is capable of switching off quite heavy loads up to 10 amps, but if you're interested in something small with a smaller footprint and uh, that can be added to Raspberry Pi directly as a hat, you could take a look at the relay, 4-channel relay from a 52 Pi. This 4-channel relay has a hat form factor, which means you'll be able to snap it on top of any Raspberry Pi that comes with a 40-pin GPIO header. That includes the Raspberry Pi 2, Raspberry Pi 3, 4, and also a Raspberry Pi 0 series. Now, this is part of the also Docker Pass series from a 52 Pi. So if you have a power board like this, it has a four pin header to uh, provide you with a 12 volt power supply that this power board can deliver. If you're interested um, in more details about the power board itself, there is a video review in a link there in a the corner for you. So let's put that on the top of my Raspberry Pi and see how it works. Before you start, head to Raspi config and make sure that interface I2C is enabled. Now, once this is enabled, remember if you're running light version of the Raspbian, you probably want to install I2C tools as well, and you can do it via usual apt-get. Now, once you have this installed, check your board. There are toggles in there which basically specify your device address depending on the toggle configurations. You can use up to four different addresses and to detect this, you use I2C detect command. As you can see in my config, I've got address 0x10. Now to switch the or toggle the relay, use I2C set dash Y one and then first the address, the device address, so it's 0x10, as you can see in the table. Then the number of the relay, which is 0x01, because I'm going to address the first relay, and then command to turn it on or off, and that's 0xff or 0x00. Now that we have a software sorted, let's take a look at the relays. The board comes with four relays, which are rated for 3 amps. So you have a rating for 250 volts at 3 amps and 30 volts DC at 3 amps as well, which roughly gives you about 750 watts of power. You can obviously configure that as a normally closed and normally open configuration. I'm going to use a normally closed configuration in my tests. You can stack up to four different boards on top of each other. If you do so, make sure you have a different address assigned using the toggles in here. Now the relays also come with LED indicators showing you whether the relays are on or off. Because the board is part of the Docker Pi, you'll find a 4-pin 12-volt connector which is compatible with a power board, which you can use with this board as well. This board utilizes pin 3 and 5 on the GPIO header to enable I2C connectivity. Because I wanted to check how the board behaves when the Raspberry Pi is powered down or loses power, I've wired my relays using normally open connectors. This means when the board has no power at all, it will allow the current to flow. It turns out when the Raspberry is shut down and some of the power is still provided to uh, the board itself, it will retain the configuration set 
electronically. As soon as the power is disconnected, however, it will revert to default wiring and in this case it will allow the current to flow through the relays. Thanks to 52Pi for sending me the board so I could take a look at it. If you're interested in more details, in the description of this video you're going to find a sample code and the links uh, to article and also links to purchase this board as well. So I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in more content from me, either subscribe to YouTube channel or even better follow me on social media because I have also articles that come without the video. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and as usual, I'm gonna see you in the next video. See ya! Bye!